Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be planning in my classic catch-all happy planner for the week of April 26th through May 2nd. And for this spread, I'm gonna use happy illustrations. I'm gonna use these stickers. Um, and I have some other stickers from happy quotes that I wanna combine, like some decorative box stickers. Um, so I'm just gonna start by getting some wax paper and pulling the ones that I know I want to use. So I'm just going to keep this page out to make sure that the stickers I want to use actually match. So I was thinking maybe this double box because the colors are kind of, they kind of go with the colors on the llamas, but we'll see about that one. Um, I know there's like other ones. Um, I wanted to use this one, like these two, but they don't match this. So I think I'm just not gonna use the double box. So I'm gonna put that back um, and just use those two so I'm gonna stick those down um, I don't know really where the spread is going I have some cute washi um, so I hope everything goes well together so I have this um, confetti washi because the colors match. So I think I'm gonna start with putting some washi down. So I have that and then I also have this cactus washi that I thought would go cute with the llamas but I'm not sure how well that'll look. So I'm gonna hold off on this one but I know for sure I wanna use these two and this confetti one. So I'm just gonna start by putting some washi um, like at the top probably and I was thinking to just layer the other um, these skinny washies with it so because um, I like doing that if they're like different sizes so I'm gonna put some on the bottom also And probably in the middle somewhere, maybe on the bottom instead of up here. So I wanted to add that cactus washi, but I don't want it to be too much. I just wanted it to be like um, in a few spots, but I don't know where to put it. So. I think I'm gonna wait until I have um, some stickers down to see where I can put that. But for these, I feel like I need another thing of washi. So like I could do blue here, purple, purple here, and then um, purple, blue, or this will be purple, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna add um, some more of this washi to the top. And then this blue has just some polka dots. So I think I'm going to just put that under here. And then it'll go instead of up here. I don't know if I want to put it on the bottom or the top though. So I'm gonna grab this purple one. This one is just striped. It's 
kind of hard to line it up because this washi underneath it is white. So I can't really see it. Okay, so then purple is going to go up here because I don't want the blue to be right across from each other. So I like the layered washi look, like when they're right on the lines. I don't really do this in my planner, but I figured I would try it for this spread um, because the colors like go so well. So for this one, I'm thinking maybe put it underneath. So that's good for now for washi. I will probably maybe add some more um, later if I need more. So I don't really know. Um, I do have colorful boxes, but I'm gonna hold off on that. So anyways, this one, I know I wanna put down here somewhere. And then I want to add this quote probably down with it in the corner. Um, I just don't know how to layer it quite like right now. Um, maybe like this. But then I have to white out all that, all the lines right there underneath. I don't really want to do that. So maybe if I switch them and have that there, and then I don't know. And I also have from. What book is it? Oh, it's in this book. Um, there are some like plants, these, and there's some paper ones too, some smaller ones. I was gonna add the cactus stickers, but I didn't think that matched as well. I like these better. So, I kinda wanna put it like this. And then maybe layer it like that instead. Or I could use a different quote. I could use this very busy since all the colors are the same. And I feel like it'll just fit better in this space. Yeah, I think I like that better, but I really wanted to use this. Oh, I could also use this one so it looks the same, like on the other side of the page. That one's kind of small. This one fills it in more. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one back for now. Um, there is that one though, but, okay, I think, I don't know how low to put it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to have to put it down and see what it looks like on the paper. So I'm thinking since you can see the washi through the plant to maybe 
cut that off until like right there. Actually, okay, I'm just gonna see how that looks. So I'm gonna get my X-Acto knife and I don't know if that's exact, but I'm just gonna eyeball it for now. Okay, that's better. I mean, it's still showing through, so. It's just, there's this clear part that's in the way and I want it to stop at the green and not the clear part. So it's a little tricky to like cut it to the right size. Okay, that's good. Okay, so yeah, I think next I'm gonna add the quote. Okay, I think I'm gonna white out the lines going through with my jelly roll. So first I'm gonna white out this line that the, like it's going through. can deal with the lines so honestly I don't really want to white it out I think it's okay but I might change my mind later okay so next um, there's some hearts that I can add around the page. Um, actually, I like the ones without the gold, but the llama has gold, so I think it's okay. It's just kind of hard to take pictures of for Instagram. Um, so, I'm gonna get some boxes. So I have the monthly colorful boxes and I think this blue kind of, it doesn't, it's not the exact, but it's the closest blue I had. So there's this long one. I have small ones, this monthly and these. So I need to check what I have on what day so this week isn't very busy I have two bills on Monday and a payday on Friday so I think for the payday I'm going to use the skinny one and then I mean I don't really put boxes for my bills but I can use that and then I could use this one maybe and find something to cover up um the right here so i'm gonna look for a circle sticker to cover that okay so in be yourself there's some circle stickers and there's a few that kind of match so i'm just gonna keep that out and i thought instead of this one because i only have one of it um it'll only be on one page and i want it to be on both pages so i'm gonna put that back and i found in adulting there are these purple ones um, it kind of goes with like just the rainbowy theme going on, so I'm gonna pull those. Um, so they look better in my opinion instead of 
like the size wise it looks better so oh I have another one of those too okay so I think that's good for boxes um, I'm gonna start putting some down I want a double box to take up more space oh there's some circle stickers here um, I don't know if these will match I mean they look like they will with the colors and the quotes I think this one I don't I don't know the words on it aren't my favorite though but it seems like there's some pretty good stickers in this book that match the colors so I'm just gonna keep this out to use that um, but I'm gonna put I think this one I can put both of my bills in oh wait I wanted to use the now I feel like these don't match this is a little dark so yeah that's not my favorite so I'm gonna put it back I always do that just so at the end I don't have a whole bunch of stickers um, that I have to put back I mean, this one kind of goes. Maybe I'll use that one. I like that one more, but I don't like the florals because I'm not using those florals. Okay. So, maybe I'll put that over here, but... Um, I don't really like this one now. So I'm gonna press that down. It's probably dry by now. Um, okay. So I'm gonna put this here. And then I think I want this on the other side, maybe. Somewhere up here. Um, maybe on Sunday. I'm not sure yet though, so I'm just gonna put it down lightly. And then I want to add some more of the llamas, so I think I want to layer the llamas with stuff, so I don't know if I should keep the llamas on the bottom though. I feel like that's a better idea. There. Get some more sticky off. And then I'm gonna have to wipe that out. Okay, let that dry. And then I think I'm gonna add a box for this day. So I know this book has really cute bullet points so maybe if I stick with purple blue and I could do like an orange or a yellow because there's that down there just to get it like rainbow colors so one right there So I moved this box up and then found these like quotes from Happy Quote Sticker Book and put those there. Um, so now, that looks crooked though.
I think it's because the washi's crooked because I'm trying to line it up with the washi and it's just not working. That's good enough. Okay, so um, I feel like these are like empty. So I need like a header or something. I know this sticker book has headers, but I use these all the time and I'm not sure if I have any that match. Or I could use circle stickers. But I don't know if I like what they say. And I don't know, since I didn't get this sticker from this book, I don't know if there's one that matches. Um, but for this one, there's a don't forget. So there's this, but that doesn't really match. So maybe I'll just pull the boxes from the sticker book and then put this one back in um, the colorful boxes sticker book. So where's my wax paper? Okay. So I'm gonna put that on there to get the sticky off. not sure it looks too like the lines I don't like because I have those and this so that's like throwing me off um so I'm gonna add some boxes over here okay so maybe I have no idea where to put this Then I have this box, but no header for it. So I will have to find something else. Okay, I feel like it took so long to like finally get this where I wanted it to go. Um, so I want to layer this quote with the washi or with this box or something. So I'm not sure how to do that though. Because it looks kind of weird like the quote does. So... I mean, it looks okay like that, but I don't know where to put this box because I want to layer something with the box. Since I don't have like a header with it, I don't know what to put. I think I'm just going to put the quote up there and then figure out what to do with the box later, like what to layer that with.
Okay. And then this will stay here. I feel like I need more bullet points or something, like maybe some up here. Because I don't like how they're like just right across from each other. So I pulled this earlier. Um, maybe that'll work, I guess. I'm going to white out this line. And then, I mean, I could put these down, maybe. I could do pink since I have pink down here. Okay. I think that's good. And I kind of want more of these. Okay, and then those are it for the clear, or the paper. Where are the clear ones? Oh, okay. I have one left, so I might as well find, try to find a spot for it. Could layer it with that. I got that cut, so... I remembered that cactus washi. Totally forgot about that. So I'm just gonna see if it's, I don't know where I would put it though. That's the thing. I mean, I guess I could layer it with the boxes maybe because I don't think I mean, I could see how it looks like on the line. Yeah, I think it's too much. And it might even be too much on the boxes, but I'm gonna see how that looks. Not sure if this section over here needs it because it's kind of busy with everything but that looks okay okay so that's all the hearts I have maybe um, one of these. I 
right there. And then I'm just going to put these around the page. And then put this down here. And then for the washi, I can put up here. Okay. Maybe I think I need washi right here because it just seems empty. I'll have to lift up the bottom of that purple box though. So I couldn't lift up the purple box and the washi was on top so I cut it off with my exacto knife but some of it came off but oh well I will just have to deal with that. So I'm going to put I think since it's, since it's the only one without like a purple or blue. I feel like I need to add that. So I think this spread is done. I'm gonna put it back in my planner. So that is my completed spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.